Hey guys, Ragebar TV here back with another video. Today I'll be giving you a guide on Dragon City Temple on normal difficulty, so let's get started. First you want to have your tank pull the boss and face him horizontally with the side of the boss to the raid group. The boss does a deadly tail swipe and a frontal breath that you would want to avoid by standing on the side of the boss. The first mechanic the boss will do is seeds. Have the seeds stand outside the group. As soon as the seeds are done, they will turn into purple crystals. Have your ranged DPS kill the crystals as soon as possible. And then go back on the boss. As you can see, we stood at the front right paw of the boss. It made it easier to keep the side to the tank, or sorry, it made it easier to keep the side of the boss to the raid. Ensure that when you are damaging the boss that you watch for the boss's cast bar. He will start casting ability that you need to get 30 meters away from the boss. If you look to the right of the target frame, it'll show you how far you are away from a boss or from any target. So if you do that, you shouldn't pick, take any damage. Once you get back on the boss, there's going to be two adds that are put on two random members, a purple and a yellow. You want to ensure you have two markers down for this mechanic and have the purple run to the purple marker and the yellow run to the yellow marker. Once these adds detonate, the farther away from the group you are, the less damage people take. Uh, once they detonate, uh, two people need to, sorry, range DPS need to kill the adds. At the same time, five people range dps need to run away from the boss and put puddles on the ground you'll get puddles on you for being the farthest away from the boss and then you will immediately uh put the puddles on the ground in a way that they're lined up so that the two people designated to blow up the puddles can do so easily once the ad dies the people assigned to blow up the puddles will step in the aura and get the deba or get the buff to blow up the puddles as soon as this mechanic is done, it's a rinse and repeat. There will be some spires that spawn on the ground. Assign a player to stand in it. Anyone can stand in it, preferably a ranged DPS or healer. And then you want to just do a tank swap throughout the fight at a certain stack number, depending on how geared your group is. I believe we did a 10 or 11 or something like that. Um, you would use four tanks for this fight as well. And that should be it. Rinse and repeat until the boss is dead. Uh, please enjoy, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks, and stay safe.